All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go live now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Inappropriate Movie Database, the comedy game show about content warnings. I'm your host, Nick Martucci. Thank you so much for putting this video on, whether it be live or whenever you uh, you damn well feel like it. Uh, I'm so happy you're watching. If this is your first time watching, you should go ahead and, and subscribe to this channel. This is episode 42. There's 41 other episodes. You could watch this for basically two days, and at least half of those are, are pretty good. Uh, I'm so excited. I don't want to waste too much time. I'm so excited for this group of people. Uh, so I'm just going to, to bring them in. Joining me on the show tonight are Alyssa Martucci, Liz Esty, Mike Giordano, and Tyler Tuttle. Hey, everybody. Uh, hey. <laughs> That's fine. No, hey. no, stay silent. Nobody knows what to do if I, if I say hello to everybody. Let's talk well, to you. You said hello to all of us. So I think everyone was being polite. <laughs> That's what happens when, when you address a, a crowd. You expect a polite nod of acknowledgement uh, that, that you're saying anything. Let's talk to you individually for a second. Uh, joining me uh, for the first time on the show is somebody I've known for, for a little while. Uh, my sister's here. Alyssa, hey. What's up? Thank you for coming on the show. You are now the, the third family member to make it on the show. Probably third and final. Yep. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that family members this is the end uh hey maybe i'll join again we'll see that holiday one was really tempting you should come on the holiday one i thought about it i'll let you know or if liz ends up doing uh the, the one that she said that she might be planning yes i just need to one. figure out a good day to do that but well, I'm welcome, it's gonna welcome be... Alyssa. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Liz in officially and, and let her talk. <laughs> Liz Esty's here. Sorry I am. to interrupt. <laughs> no, I'm sorry to interrupt. I was gonna let me promo a show that does not have a date or time yet, um, but it will be cheesy holiday rom coms. Um, that one will probably be my jam. Uh, <laughs> it's just been tricky because like not a lot of them have enough <laughs> warnings especially the hallmark ones because they're all like you know chased christian movies <laughs> like it's uh, yeah so i've mostly had to rely on like netflix and lifetime because if there's one thing people get upset about it's lifetime holiday movies <laughs> lifetime started putting like three people of color in per year and people freaked out <laughs> Does that involve Mario Lopez as Colonel Sanders? Uh, yeah, because that was an ad on Lifetime. Uh-huh. So, yeah. That's just a, that's a thing I know about Lifetime movies, that that happened recently. <laughs> Have you seen any other good ones you were on recently with, with one that you just seen? Any... Um, oh, my gosh. Okay, great. I watched it. My dad even admitted that he didn't hate it for the full <laughs> running time. It's called Christmas in a Castle. On Netflix, starring Brooke, <laughs> Brooke Shields and Carrie Elwes. Yep. Uh, it's wow. honestly delightful. <laughs> I loved it. It's set in Scotland. Um, there's... Oh, yeah, with two Scottish actors, Carrie Elwes and Brooke well, Shields. Well, I mean, to be fair, Brooke Shields is playing an American. So that is let's fair. be clear. She gets <laughs> run out of the country by rabid book fans. She's an author. Happens. I don't want to spoil it all. I've already given away, like... <laughs> most of the plot but then there's a grumpy castle owner um and hijinks ensue and that's really all you need to know and it's christmas it's christmas yeah. well thank you for coming back look out for that episode that will hopefully come out this month uh as soon as liz is ready that's gonna happen uh and we're gonna need contestants so if those kinds of movies uh you like them more than the kind of movie we we normally do on the show uh, look out for that. Also, coming back to the show, it's been the first, uh, a, a long time since I, I've had him on the show. I've been wanting to have him back. Mike Giordano's here. Hey, Mike. Hey, how's it going? 
Good. I, uh, How are you? Uh, I'm all right. I uh, <laughs> I just barely made it here. <laughs> I guess. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've uh, to the show or just in general. Just in general. Um, <laughs> I uh, I'm on a new like health plan right now where uh, we replace my entire blood supply like, two full times, and it really re-energizes you for like. Lots of like comedy and stuff, so I'm like really <laughs> raring to go. Uh, it's that new yeah. blood energy. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, by the way, donate blood, please, people. <laughs> donate blood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, if not just for Mike, he's going to need a yeah, third. I need uh, new more. Blood at some point, <laughs> and we can't we afford. We replace Mike's entire. <laughs> it's it's so expensive when it's donated. Like, imagine if you were trying to sell blood, like. Please just Ooh. donate it so we can keep it at the at the price that it's at. I think it's like eight hundred dollars a bag or something like that. <laughs> That's how they sell it by the bag. Uh, yeah, they, they. I have a, a bill right now where it was like just like bag of blood, bag of blood, bag of blood, <laughs> bag of plasma, bag of blood. Mike, that sounds like a great like thing. You could put it on Twitter because. That's something that like international people, they love that stuff. They love being like, look how dystopian the United States is. <laughs> Everything's yeah. going great here. <laughs> Mike, yeah, I'm I, glad they found the blood <laughs> to replace your blood. Like, happy to see you. Yeah, yeah. I'm very lucky uh, to be here and uh, glad to be here. And uh, uh, I should be okay for, for now. <laughs> glad you're just here in yeah. general. Yeah. I do have a dead camera possibly in my body right now uh, that uh, <laughs> I had to swallow a camera and uh, and they were going to take pictures. I wore a belt and, uh, the photos off the, off the camera. Um, and then uh, when I handed the, the, the belt over, they're like, so... It's been in your stomach the whole time. It didn't go anywhere. Uh, <laughs> call us in a week and uh, maybe we'll x-ray it and see if it's still there. And eh, we'll just cut it out if it's, if it's, if it's still there. Oh, so boy. <laughs> you know, very casual. Very. Uh... <laughs> well, uh, on that, uh, also coming back to the show. <laughs> He's been on a bunch of times. I love having him on the show. I love to see what he's promoting. Tyler Tuttle is here. Hey, Tyler. Hey. Good to I'm here. I, I, I is donating blood. It's, I got all my original stuff. <laughs> There's so specific uh, when you try and donate. Apparently, it's got to be human. <laughs> and usually your own. Yeah, not just a bucket of miscellaneous. You can't just show up. <laughs> I have this as long as you're not going to ask questions. Yeah, I I collect a lot of animal blood and day-to-day activities, I figure. (laughs) I'll just plug Boston Children's Hospital Blood Donation Center. They have rotating prizes every month, so you can just go back and get a new prize that says Boston Children's Hospital Blood Donor Center. But I've got a water bottle. I've got a thermos. Highly recommend. <laughs> and you're saving a life. I mean that too. <laughs> but but I like bottle. the prizes. <laughs> but seriously, it took me like five years to successfully donate blood because apparently my veins are small. I don't know. Um, and so going to the children's hospital was the only time it was successful. Well, yeah, they got the smaller needles. <laughs> Uh, that's sorry, either Tyler. a joke or a true thing. I'm, so, I'm so sorry, Tyler. Medicine. I parachuted in with a blood donor center. <laughs> Great. Uh, I'll just use that as my intro. Perfect. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Speak, please. I've said all I have to say. I'm Tyler here. here. Hospitals don't take animal blood. Uh, that's That's what I thought I'd come in with, so I'm pretty good. <laughs> On that, uh, (laughs) welcome to the show tonight, everybody. (laughs) Here's what's going to happen if you've never seen the show before. I have gone to IMDb, the Internet Movie Database, and I have pulled content warnings for just too many movies, frankly. Uh, These warnings are written by anonymous weirdos. I don't know who they are. I don't know why they do what they do. If one were to ever reach out to me about this, I'd be forced to pay them. Uh, but I have so many questions and I want them on the show. So what I've done with these 
uh, bizarre, bizarre is the right word, warnings, is I've thrown them together and my friends here are going to try to guess what movie I'm warning you against. And unless there's any other things that we need to discuss before the game starts, <laughs> I say, let's start this game. Uh, Alyssa, I'm going to start with you. Would you like a movie from 1969, 1988, or 2003? 2003. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> wait, do I still have to hit the raise my hand thing? Not yet. Okay. Wait, wait, wait until I, I give you some clues. You're just no, picking the but year. Like, right now. Oh, I'm just pick- I got it. Okay. Yep. And now we're going to the first movie. <laughs> got it. All right. Great. <laughs> First movie of the night from 2003 for five points under the category of violence and gore. Apropos, blood pours over opening and closing credits. Hell yeah. It's the all blood episode of Inappropriate yeah. Movie Database tonight. <laughs> I mean, it's a waste, but it sounds metal as fuck. Yeah, donate your blood to opening and closing credits. If you can't make it to a children's hospital, just pour it on some opening credits. For four is... points, under the category of violence and gore, a young man nudges a man sitting next to him, and his head falls off into his lap. Blood spurts from the neck. Tyler has a guess. Anybody else want to buzz in? Tyler, what do uh... you think this movie is? I don't think I have the year right, but House of a Thousand Corpses sounds like something that would happen. It does sound like something would happen. Uh, I don't know if it does. It's not this movie. I haven't seen that picture. (laughs) Corpses. For three points under violence and gore as well, a man swings a machete. It hits an electrical panel that sends a jolt of electricity through him. He grabs another man who is also jolted, and the second man's face melts and bubbles from the heat. Tyler has another guess. Everybody else looks disgusted. Tyler, what do you think? This is Freddy versus Jason. This is Freddy versus Jason. Mm, you know, it was a Friday the 13th kind of thing. <laughs> I just couldn't figure out. Like, I right feel away. like there's so many iterations mm-hmm. of that i was like which one yeah. <laughs> the, the one with both of them <laughs> uh just for fun also in this movie also under violence and gore uh because that's where most of the warnings are for this movie two men fight the first man has his arms hacked off they spurt blood he grows two new arms the second man is pinned to a pole by a machete through his chest The first man telekinetically smashes him into objects in the room before dropping a large object on him. He recovers and throws the first man into a wall and they continue to fight. And under violence and gore, we see people being killed by a badly scarred bad guy in their dreams. We see his head popping through a man's chest, blood pours and sprays and fills the room. uh, Alyssa, you picked this movie. I know. I, no, <laughs> this I is all your year. I didn't pick the movie. <laughs> uh, Tyler, you're in the lead with two points. Everybody else sits at zero. Liz, it's on you now. Would you like a movie from 1962, 1974, or 2008? 2008. We are avoiding the older movies. We're all young, Nick. Oh, yeah. This Nick. Is- I'm going for things I could find on DVD at the local library. Oh, the local library has a large collection of older films. Right, but as a teenager, <laughs> I was drawn to ones with color. <laughs> well, this movie might have color from 2008. For five points under the category of sex and nudity, there are two scenes of clothed but obvious sexual intercourse with thrusting and moaning complete with descriptive and orgasmic exclamation, overacted and played for comedy. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I know this one. Uh, t- uh, well, every, everybody, everybody but Alyssa is going to buzz in. I'm not confident. That's fine. <laughs> Liz, what do you think this movie is? Zach and Mary make a porno? Mike, what do you think this is? 
I was going to go with Wedding Crashers. Tyler, what do you think it is? Getting Sarah Marshall. It is not forgetting Sarah Marshall. Or Zach and Mary make a porno. Or whatever Mike said that I get. Wedding Crashers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't commit it to memory. It was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's how I feel about the movie too. <laughs> For four points under frightening and intense scenes, nothing is meant to be intense, although many of the characters are shown to be just as immature as the two protagonists. <laughs> For three points under frightening and intense scenes, Distracted by their family sing-along, a man ends up drifting out of his lane and must swerve back, played for comedy. Oh, wait. Mike is buzzed in. Alyssa is buzzed in. Tyler, Liz, anything? Alyssa, I'll go to you first. What do you think? Is it We Are the Millers? Mike, what do you think? It sounds more right than mine, which I think was going to be the vacation remake. It is not the vacation remake, and it is not. Uh... Oh, I'm having such a hard time remembering. We are the Millers. We are the Millers. <laughs> oh, I'm off to a, a, a weird start tonight. We'll see how this the show ends. <laughs> For two points under sex and nudity, a man pulls out his clearly prosthetic testicles and rubs them against a drum. Uh, I see Mike, I see Tyler. Anybody else? Mike, what do you think? It's Step Brothers. Tyler? Ditto, it's Step Brothers. It sure is Step Brothers. <laughs> I should have read my text. <laughs> Realizing Somebody these are all cheat? the same movies. <laughs> Someone said Lifeline, tap me in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will admit now, which probably will get me banned from more comedy shows. But uh, I've never watched Step Brothers, mostly because of how many of men have told me to watch Step Brothers. <laughs> You're not it's missing too much, just but look, a look up the scene. Reaction. Yeah. I'm literally like, you can't make me. <laughs> look up the family sing along scene. It's Adam Scott uh, getting it, and Catherine Hahn. Adam Scott and Catherine Hahn. Okay, uh, those are high quality. You knew what would appeal and, to and, me. And, and he's forcing them to sing Sweet Child of Mine. And great. it's great. I uh, sang Sweet Child of Mine in my performing arts camp rock group called Rock School. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm doing no, that's, like that's fine. association today. <laughs> uh, the, final, so the, fi <laughs> the final clue in that, a poorly constructed bunk bed falls on a man. The man is, for the most part, unscathed with only a cut on his arm. Tyler, you are still in first place now with three points. Mike, you're in second with zero. Liz and Alyssa tied at negative one each. Mike, would you like a movie from 1931, 1978, or 1989? Go with 89. 89. Still going with the most recent, but old enough i'm just going with the one i was alive for uh-huh <laughs> all right this movie from 1989 for five points under violence and gore there is a brief close-up shot of blood-stained surgical implements i did not plan this show to be the show it is mike has his hands up and he gets tyler's also going to take a guess tyler what do you think this movie is a lethal weapon two mike what do you think? Batman. It is not Lethal Weapon 2. He's way more right than I am. He sure is way more right. With the five-point yes. clue, this is Batman. <laughs> wow. Well I, I done. I guess Batman with 1989 already, but as soon as he said <laughs> surgical <laughs> implements. Uh, well, let's just go through the rest of these. Violence and gore. The hero uses martial arts techniques at numerous fight scenes throughout the film. 
The hero himself is very dark and mysterious in this film. He often lurks out of sight in the shadows, then appears out of nowhere to take down a bad guy. He also murders countless henchmen over the film's time. His presence is quite intimidating and may frighten some. Uh, Frightening and intense scenes, the main character's parents get murdered. A gun is pointed at him as a child. And violence and gore, many people are killed throughout the film using the villain's lethal laughing gas, which leaves a grotesque grin on their face. Uh, Mike, you have, you have taken over the lead with five points. Tyler, you're down to two. Melissa and Liz remain at negative one. Tyler, would you like yes. a movie? From 1963, 1999, or 2013? I want to party like it's 1999. So 1999. Oh, okay. I partied like it was 1999 back in in 2013. I I was doing it in 63. (laughs) (laughs) All right. 1999. For five points... I put this clue in. I don't know why I put this clue in. For five points under sex and nudity, a woman references having sex with a certain person. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect. You're welcome. You sure nobody has a guess? In 1999? (laughs) I like throwing out guesses. I'll throw one out. Sweet. What's your guess, Tyler? Uh, The Mummy. I wanted to... (laughs) It's not about 90. For four points under frightening and intense scenes, the violence throughout is played for dark humor, but is still quite graphic. Mike has a guess. Anybody else? Mike, what do you think? Is it Mystery Men? It is not Mystery Men. Mm. For three points under violence and gore, Again, under violence and gore, a man works at a restaurant to urinate in a customer's food. He does it just to do that? According to this person, a man works at a restaurant to urinate in a customer's food, and this is violence and or gore. Tyler and Mike have buzzed in. Liz has also buzzed in. Liz, what do you think this is? Big Daddy? Tyler, what do you think it is? Fight Club. Mike, what do you think this is? Half-baked? It is not half-baked. And it is not Big Daddy. This movie is Fight Club. There's a weird montage where he's just bad at jobs for a bit. (laughs) (laughs) Final clues in that, under violence and gore, a man's face is beat into a bloody pulp. He struggles to breathe afterwards. This is extremely brutal, and it's all shown in really close-up in slow motion. And frightening and intense scenes, the entire film is extremely disturbing and psychologically crazy, as men are dehumanized to commit numerous acts of terrorism, vandalism, and anarchy. Not to mention the fact that they're told to fight each other in order to reclaim their masculinity. This material can make viewers feel uncomfortable. However, it's meant to be satirical and not to be taken seriously. That was the important warning for that movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they should have put that at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> uh, Tyler, you, you've moved back into first place with four. Mike at three. Alyssa at negative one. Liz at negative two. <laughs> Alyssa, it's back to you. Okay. Would you like a movie from 1996, 2010, or 2018? Go on, 2010. 2010. All right, from 2010 for five points under sex and nudity. But a man also suggests that with another character, he may be entering into a more stable monogamous relationship. That was edited by whoever wrote that. I did not take a piece of a warning out. 
that warning again. But a man also suggests that with another character, he may be entering a more stable monogamous relationship. So watch out for that sex and nudity. Her four points under alcohol, drugs, and smoking. During what he believes could be his final birthday party, a man gets drunk to the, to the delight of the party's attendees, but the chagrin of his friends. And the movie makes it clear that we're not supposed to like it either. Liz has buzzed in. Tyler's buzzed in. Mike is buzzed in. Melissa, you got nothing? I Mike, what do you think this is? Is it 50-50? Liz, what do you think this is? 50-50. Tyler, what do you think it is? I think it's funny people. The two cancer movies from around yeah. that time. <laughs> it is oh, not well, funny God damn people. It. And well. it is not 50-50. <laughs> Neither of the big cancers. Man. The big C's, as we call it. Just when I think you're going to zig, you zag. I just (laughs) don't keep up with you, Nick. (laughs) For three points under frightening and intense scenes, a man attacks a car race by pummeling several and splitting one in half. This is a very intense scene for people who haven't seen many movies. (laughs) You might need to hear that one again. (laughs) I could follow the syntax at all (laughs) a man attacks a car race by pummeling several and splitting one in half this is a very intense scene for people who haven't seen many movies oh mike has buzzed in anybody else what do you think mike i couldn't hear that i don't know if you're on mute is it iron man 2 there it is. It is Iron wow. Man 2. Oh, fuck. That actually makes perfect sense. Right? I'm so mad. <laughs> See, it doesn't make sense until the title comes up. What was the first clue again? But a man also suggests with another character, he may be entering into a more stable monogamous relationship. I think it was an add-on to... Tony sleeping with a bunch of women. He says that he might be monogamous with Pepper. That's my guess. Makes more sense. Now. <laughs> uh, the guess. other clues in that, under violence and gore, in the main character's house, he and his friend have a cataclysmic fight while wearing their respective suits. And sex and nudity in the opening scene when the main character is making his grand entrance to introduce the newly reopened Stark Expo, at the end of his grand entrance, he hired some backup dancers whom are dancing seductively with sexy outfits inspired by his suit. Perfect. Perfect. Mike, you're up to first place again. Going back and forth with Tyler, you're now at five. Tyler's dropped to three. Alyssa at negative one, Liz at negative three. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> but Liz, Liz, we're going back to you. Would you like Can't a movie wait. from 1984, 1992, or 2020? Ooh, 2020, the year that doesn't exist. Love that. Why? Did something happen in 2020? <laughs> Is this a multiple choice one? (laughs) I mean, technically. (laughs) There's how many movies that came out in 2020? This was one of them. Well, what's interesting, like, was it a, you know, one that was released to a streaming service or like to theaters? It was a very good question. Did they release any to theaters in 2020? They did. Oh, they did. From, from, From January to March and then Tenet. Yeah, I was that movie say we tenet. all love. That saved- remember that like super weird Tom Cruise in a mask going to see <laughs> Tenant promotional video. <laughs> all right, this movie from 2020 for five points under sex and nudity. A young woman masturbates in bathroom, but nothing is shown as the camera is shoulder top. No nudity as this scene is shown comically. Hilarious. 
for four points under frightening and intense scenes, a man is threatened to be executed throughout the film until he completes his mission. Mike had an eye roll as if he thinks he knows what this movie is. Anybody else? Liz is also going to take a guess. Liz, what do you think this is? Oh, I'm definitely wrong. I don't want to guess anymore. That's fine. (laughs) Mike, what do you think this movie is? Is it The Suicide Squad? It is not The Uh. Suicide Squad. Movie that came out in 2021. Uh. (laughs) It's the same year, though. (laughs) We're still (laughs) in like March of 2020. For three points under sex and nudity, a young woman hands a book over to the babysitter, which contains hand-drawn pictures of a vagina in masturbation. Mike has buzzed in again. Anybody else? Mike, what do you think this time? Oh, wait, no. Liz also got in. Liz, what do you think? Shiva baby. Mike, what do you think? Uh, uh, Borat 2. It is not Shiva Baby. Okay, Uh, great film. Please watch it. Mike, I'm going to give it to you because I don't assume you know the complete title to Borat 2. Borat 2, subsequent movie film. That's good enough, but I'm giving it to Mike. I think there's more to it, too. There is so much more to it. Oh, Jesus. All I have written (laughs) down is is subsequent movie film. That's all I needed. I just wanted to prove that I'm not, like, totally dumb. (laughs) <laughs> by knowing subsequent movie film <laughs> uh, the, other, the other clues in that under frightening and intense scenes overall somewhat tamer than its predecessor however the film is still very much R rated and sex and nudity when the main character hurries into the elevator which goes to the hotel room of Rudy Giuliani he misspells penthouse as pantyhose to the room service lady in order to take him there. So watch out in Borat 2, he says pantyhose when he means penthouse, and that's the thing to worry about. <laughs> not <laughs> when the, he like, goes to Rudy Giuliani's hotel room. Not the like super ethically questionable scene. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I was specifically talking about the one where, like, Rudy Giuliani sexually harasses a young actress. Uh huh. <laughs> and they kept filming. Yep. Bore it too. Mike, you're <laughs> at seven points. <laughs> Tyler, you're at three. <laughs> Alyssa, at negative one. Liz, down to negative four. Look, what's important is I'm trying. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> um, where are we? Mike, it's up to you. Would All you right. like a movie from 1936, 1982, or 2021? Hmm. Um, I'm going to go with 2021. I want to see where this goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This movie came out sometime in the last 11 months. For five points under frightening and intense scenes, the voice that is used by some characters is intense and frightening. Mike buzzing in real quickly. So is Liz and Tyler. Alyssa doesn't know why everybody's buzzing in. (laughs) Liz, what movie do you think this is? Dune. Tyler, what movie do you think this is? The Suicide Squad. Mike, what movie do you think this is? Dune. Uh, it's still not the Suicide Squad, <laughs> but Mike and Liz, both with the five point clue, this movie is Dune. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw Dune twice. They were showing I it in too. the Om- Omni Theater at the Museum of Science. <laughs> so, you know, oh. I did that. <laughs> I do. You talked about it on the last episode. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the only good thing that's happened no i'm just kidding (laughs) uh well just for fun the other clues for dune under frightening and intense scenes two characters fight to the death in a knife duel sex and nudity very mild exposure in one scene to the side of buttocks 
as a large naked man sits in a sauna and in another with a drugged man at a table. In another okay, scene, there are female creatures thing. clothed in see-through garments. Nothing can be seen, but if you look closely, you can see the outline of breasts and buttocks. Violence and gore characters are shot and stabbed with swords, blades, and sci-fi weapons. And frightening and intense scenes, scenes of threat include characters being pursued and attempting to escape giant worms, flying through a sandstorm, fleeing the explosions, being held at knife point, being targeted by remote devices that inject poison, a character is left paralyzed by poison, and his body is seen naked in a chair as his enemies mock him. Okay, but, but like, all I Oscar needed was Isaac that looks voice. great in that. <laughs> Truly, no one has ever looked better drugged. <laughs> uh, Mike, you've got a commanding lead now at 12 points. Tyler in second place with two. Liz, you're back in the positive with one. Alyssa, you have uh, answered one movie. <laughs> Incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Vic. <laughs> She already said she's not coming back on the show. I didn't say that. I said I was the last member to come on the show. Tyler, <laughs> would you like a movie from 1978, 1996, or 2018? I want a, a 96. The Lion King came out around that time, so maybe it's that. <laughs> I hope it's the Lion King. Like 94. Oh, damn it. Anybody remember seeing The Lion King in theaters? No? I, I do. Yeah. The re release oh. when they did it in 3D. Oh. <laughs> Nick. What's up? That, that came out. <laughs> <laughs> this movie from 1996 for five points under sex and nudity during a montage, spandex boys and girls were seen exercising. Tyler has buzzed in. Anybody else? Tyler, what do you think this is? If there were, is it heavyweights? It is not heavyweights. But then. Nick, how do you say montage again? Montage. Montage. <laughs> you know what that was? That was me forgetting to breathe at the beginning of that sentence. <laughs> I like peek it. Peek behind the hosting curtain. <laughs> For four points under frightening and intense scenes, the transformation scenes might be frightening to younger viewers. With Who's three transforming points and I... <laughs> under sex and nudity. Tyler, turn off the notifications. <laughs> <laughs> under That's sex it. and nudity. There are two scenes when a stand-up comedian tells dirty jokes. Another man tells some dirty jokes as well. <laughs> I'm so what is this? Tyler has a guess. What do you the think? Nutty this time, per- the Nutty Professor. That is Dave Chappelle as the comedian in The Nutty Professor. Oh. Back on top, baby. Except not, I'm still... Not close. <laughs> <laughs> but I got some points, so... You sure did. You're up to four points now. Mike remains at 12. Liz at yeah, one. Right. Liz at negative one. Uh, the other clues in this, under frightening and intense scenes, in the main character's bad dream, he returns into a ramping hungry giant who could terrify some younger viewers. On the other hand, it's played for laughs. And under profanity, people tease the main character because he's overweight. That's how Uh, they get you. That is. We have one more go around. Four movies left. One more for each of you. Uh, Everybody can still catch up. This game's not over yet. (laughs) Alyssa, would you like a movie from 1998... 2013 or 2018? 2013. 2013. This movie from 2013 for five points under sex and nudity. 
a woman makes a reference to two men and herself, quote, measuring penises. For four points under frightening and intense scenes, the tornado scene can be intense and disturbing, particularly the resulting death of an important character. And for three points under violence and gore, lots of mass destruction and collateral damage throughout. But none of it is bloody, nor is any explicit human injury shown. Liz has buzzed in. Anybody else? What do you think, Liz? Man of Steel? You've got it, Liz. This movie is Man of Steel. Well done. That trademark... (laughs) trademark bloodless <laughs> sacrifice of human life from but no explicit human injury is shown <laughs> uh, the other clues in that under frightening and intense scenes a school bus full of kids falls into the water from a bridge it starts to sink risking to drown everybody inside until a kid breaks the back door and uses his superhuman strength to lift it up and push it back to shore and frightening and intense scenes scenes of destruction on Krypton and later scenes of widespread urban destruction in Smallville and Metropolis may be upsetting. Liz, you're now tied with Tyler in second with four points. Mike remains at 12. Alyssa remains at negative one. Liz, would you like a movie from 1986, 2003, or 2018? 2018. Those peak AMC stubs time for me. (laughs) Not peak movie pass? No, look, I never trusted movie pass. And I I was right. I paid for movie pass when it was $30 a month. And then it went down. (laughs) And then it went too far down. (laughs) Anyway, this movie from 2018 that I might have saw in my movie pass for five points under sex and nudity, a baby has its diaper changed and the side of the baby's butt is visible. Hell yeah. (laughs) You say that was sex and nudity? That is sex and nudity. Jesus. (laughs) One more so than the other. (laughs) For four points under violence and gore, in the helicopter scene, a woman tells two other adults to get ready, and they jump out of the helicopter and fall into the water. It is unknown if they drowned or survived the fall, as they are not seen or mentioned in the movie after that. What is this movie? (laughs) What happened then? Uh, <laughs> Nothing <no>. important. <laughs> Tyler, what do you think this is? The spy who dumped me? It is not the spy who dumped me. I'd be a terrible host if I expected people to remember the spy who dumped me. I... Honestly, I probably <laughs> would because I did see that in theaters. <laughs> Second time I thought about it. In my life. The first time was when I was watching it. (laughs) For three points, under violence and gore, moderate animated violence with no blood, gore, or major injuries. There is stylized fight sequences, but with no lasting pervasive violence. Cruelty some characters possess may factor into situations where some are harmed unjustly. Liz has buzzed in. Anybody else? Liz, what do you think? Shazam? It is not Shazam. Yeah, I didn't think so. For two points, under violence and gore, dark and intense superhero violence, but no blood is seen or mentioned in the film. Tyler has buzzed in again, so has Liz. Liz, what do you think? This is Brock. 
everyone's gonna hate me. <laughs> Avengers Infinity War. I want the 28. Tyler, what do you think? <laughs> uh, Suicide Squad without a the. <laughs> without a the this time. Yeah, just, uh, just straight up. <laughs> it is not Infinity War. That did not come out in, in 2008. It is also not Suicide Squad. I thought it was 18. Yeah, I'm 18. It was 18. Okay. It is 18. I'm, I'm okay. No. All right. Okay. I was like, I knew I was wrong. I wasn't that wrong. <laughs> Final clue under frightening and intense scenes. Much darker and scarier than its predecessor. With darker themes like the loss of a parent either one of them, or both, family issues and dictatorship, a darker tone, some scary and suspenseful moments, and much more violence and action compared to the first film. Because of these reasons, this film is, without a doubt, Pixar's darkest film, even darker than Coco, which is the darkest film of the, which was the darkest film of the animation studio back then. I just had to get that all out. Everybody bu- has, has buzzed in and are buzzing out and are buzzing in. <laughs> and are buzzing out. Right now, Tyler's the only one who is currently hey. buzzed in. What happened to the rest of you? I know. I realize that it's not worth it for me to guess. But <laughs> I kind of need it again. All right. <laughs> Let's read this clue again. Take a deep much, breath. much darker and scarier than its predecessor. With darker themes like the loss of a parent, either one of them or both, family issues, and dictatorship. A darker tone, some scary and suspenseful moments, and much more violence and action compared to the first film. Because of these reasons, this film is without a doubt Pixar's darkest film, being even darker than Coco, which was the darkest film of the animation studio back then. So the, the one I reread for uh, still is not buzzed in, just just everyone else. All right, Mike, did you figure it out? Yes, uh, The Incredibles 2. Liz, oh. what do you think? Incredibles 2. Tyler? The Incredibles 2. It sure is The Incredibles 2. <laughs> uh, that fundamentally didn't change too much. <laughs> After it's all like, that, I sing wrong. <laughs> Mike, I guess you're wrong at, a lot. Mike, you're at thirteen. Liz and Tyler still tied at three points each. Oh. Melissa <laughs> at negative one. Still an opportunity for Tyler or Liz to catch up to Mike. Still a chance for Alyssa to get a point. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Would you like a movie from 1950, 2010, or 2018? I realize I can just kind of rig the rest of this game by picking 1950, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you are a monster. And also, I'm glad you're still alive. <laughs> well, thank you. 1950 for five points under violence and gore. Some implied death threats made for comical purposes. It's the funniest movie about threatening people. (laughs) For four points under violence and gore, a young woman screams from cold water shock. Um... The well-known condition, cold water shock. (laughs) Tyler's going to take a guess. What do you think, Tyler? Is it someone psycho? It is not psycho. For Uh, some reason, she gets in the shower completely naked, turns on the shower, (laughs) and does not scream for cold (laughs) water shock. I thought there might have been another time. There's so much happening in that movie. Also, psycho was later than 1950. It was 1960. Yeah. Like, (laughs) but. Uh, not in three points under frightening and intense scenes. The cat is named Lucifer, which is a reference to the devil. The cat is evil and menacing. Tyler, what do you think this movie is? The Adventures of Lucifer the Devil Cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. 
<laughs> thought this was a, might be a really good clue. <laughs> I well, mean, actually, it's a really good clue if you if you if you know. It, uh, I'm gonna be so mad if you get this. Actually, yeah, yeah, Mike Tyler didn't guess anything. What do you think? Is it that darn cat? It is also not that darn cat. <laughs> okay. completely forgotten the other clues so i'm focused on the cat now some implied death threats made for comedic purposes young woman screams from cold water shock the cat is named cold water shark and the cat is named lucifer which is a reference to the devil cat is evil and menacing for two points under violence and gore cat gets hit with a broom cat tries to eat a mouse a man gets hit on the head with a shoe a man gets kicked in the chest. Liz has buzzed in. Anybody else? What do you think, Liz? Oh, wait, no. Tyler's also going to take a yes. Tyler, what do you think? The Adventures of Lucifer, the <laughs> dodging, human kicking, mouse killing cat. <laughs> yes. Liz, what do yes. you think? Tom and Jerry. Is not Tom and Jerry. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to the final clue again. Under frightening and intense scenes, the dress tearing scene may be intense to some children. There's a brief scene when the stepmother finds out the main character went to the ball. She has said she has a dark, evil scowl, which could frighten some children. Everyone but Mike. No, Mike, Mike is buzzed in. I'm going to start asking before you all unbuzz in. Mike, what do you think? <laughs> uh... Was there a 1950 Cinderella? Alyssa, what do you think? Cinderella. Liz, what do you think? Cinderella. Tyler? The Adventures of Lucifer, the cat that hates dresses. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'll take that as an answer. I gave it as one. All right. Uh, Yes, there was a a very famous Cinderella in 1950. Disney one. Disney Cinderella. Oh, that one you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa, you're the only one who scored any points in that round. Ooh. <laughs> oh, because <laughs> bringing you up to zero. <laughs> Tyler, you've dropped to negative four because I took all those answers. <laughs> well. I felt good about him, so I don't know how that happens. Three, Mike is running away with this at 13. We have one movie left. Uh, Better be about a cat. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Uh, Tyler, you get to pick the last movie just for fun. Would you like a movie from 1975, 1999, or 2015? Hmm. Hmm. 1999. That's I started there and I want to end there. All right. <laughs> the Will Ennium, as I call it. <laughs> the final movie of the night from 1999 for five points. A scene near the beginning of the film features constant multiple swear words, the F word, censored by bleeps. Mike's going to take a guess, even though he, he has won this game. Tyler's also going to take a guess. That'll be fun. Tyler, what do you think this is? I, I know it, but I, I want to say Jerry Springer, the TV show, but that's also correct, because it's Austin Powers, <laughs> the spy who shagged me. So can it be both? <laughs> Mike, what do you think this movie is? I have now forgotten what my guess was. It wasn't that. It was, oh, the South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. South Park. I mean, that is a good guess. Mm. It is, however, for I think the third week in a row, somebody gets the final question right on the fifth clue. This is (laughs) Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. Mm. Slash the Jerry Springer television show. Slash Mm. the Jerry Springer television show. Here's the thing. I actually, like, remember parts of Jerry Springer. Austin Powers, I watched them and they left my head immediately. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, well, let's finish off that movie just for fun. Under frightening and intense scenes, a man is tricked and falls into lava whilst screaming. Played for laughs, but could be slightly shocking. 
<laughs> Sex and nudity, we see a very large nude man with a sheet covering most of his groin area. Parts of his obviously fake buttocks are sometimes visible. Violence and gore, a woman's clothed breast turns into a pair of machine guns and she fires bullets from them, but no one is injured. And profanity, the film contains one use of prick, two uses of titties, and four uses of shag, shit, and dick. That was Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. This was Inappropriate Movie Database. Our final scores for the night. In last place, Alyssa with zero. Uh, (laughs) Not negative. Liz at three. Tyler at four. And running away with the game, it's Mike Giordano with 12. Well done, everybody. Uh, Alyssa, that is the same score mom got. So you, you perfect. are, you are perfect. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> uh, well, this was so much fun. Thank you all. Um, before we go, if there's anything you want to promote anywhere you want to be found or just any last words, uh, Liz, I'll start with you. Um, I'm sorry. I was so off the wall tonight. Uh, <laughs> You can follow my no Instagram apologies. at Liz SD for baked goods and pictures of me and my dad after running a 5K. And um, you can also follow my Twitter at Liz SD for some jokes and lots of angry retweets. Um, and I mean, you can look at my Facebook, but that's dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, follow- and thanks, Nick. No, thanks. Thanks for keeping uh, doing this, uh, and hopefully, I get to have you on the other side of this show soon. Yeah, then I can suffer. <laughs> uh, Tyler, mm. uh, <laughs> yeah, you're still. I, <laughs> I've, uh, I like to promote. I'm rebooting Lucifer the Wonder Cat. I'm bringing it to hulu plus but only on the espn subscription you have to have both and then you can watch it it's gonna be really good i'm very excited lucifer the wonder cat who hates dresses and kills mice <laughs> perfect mm, that's it <laughs> Mike. and mcgruber's got a tv show that uh, sure. i'm pretty excited when, when does that tv show come i know you've worked a lot on uh, the show <laughs> I'll, i put in a lot of work uh googling if it was gonna happen uh december 16th uh, is the date. Uh, good luck with that show. Yep, I'm just a <laughs> big fan. <laughs> uh, Mike. Uh, if you want to hear updates about uh, where my blood is or how I'm coping with uh, prednisone feeding frenzy, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Air Giordano. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to be doing any live shows uh, for a little while, but uh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll pop up on these things every once in a while. and, <laughs> and Whenever uh, yeah. you want to come on. Cool, cool. Uh, and Alyssa, I'm, I'm sure you, you have a ton of stuff. <laughs> uh, let me know when the teasing holiday <laughs> romance one is. Absolutely. That'll be my domain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you once again uh, to Alyssa Martucci, Liz Esty, Tyler Tuttle, Mike Giordano. I'm Nick Martucci. You can follow me on all social media at Blundering Idiom. Find the show on Facebook. Search Inappropriate Movie Database. That's where I post most about this show. And that's where I'm booking the show right now. Uh, We have a few spots left open for the rest of December. So if you're watching this, if you've done it before, you want to try it out for the first time, uh, reach out to me there or on any social media. I want to have you on the show. I love having new people on the show. And, uh, you know, like, subscribe, do whatever YouTubers tell you to do. And hopefully uh, you'll watch another one of these. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.